I'm here on the occasion of uh, Tim Brennan's exhibition at the John Hansard Gallery, uh, talking to Tim Brennan. Uh, Tim, I'm delighted to uh, be, be doing this exhibition with you. Um, it's based very much on work that you've done related to the Mass Observation Archive at the University of Sussex. When you started delving into this archive, to what extent do you think you were exploring things that perhaps you were the first person to unearth? It was very daunting mm -hmm. uh, because there is so much material and categorised in, in, from newspapers to astrology, you know, boxes. Mm -hmm. First of all, what I did was I, I, I thought I would take, broadly speaking, the idea of visual representation. But when I got to wall chalkings, I thought, I, I assumed, you know, it's not good to assume things, I keep <laughs> getting told this, you know, um, that it, it would be some way, uh, some kind of proto kind of graffiti art, you know. Mm. And then I came across the Lethbridge reports. And when I opened this file, I saw this name T.C. Lethbridge, and uh, I thought, hang on a minute, I've come across him before. He wrote literature on divining with pendulums and uh, what is the length to divine... Uh, death by, you know, and he has measurements for this. So he, there is a kind of a, a, a culture, uh, perhaps subculture, I'm not sure, um, that has an interest in T.C. Lethbridge. Mm. So when I saw T.C. Lethbridge in the Mass Observation uh, Archive, I thought, how interesting. T.C. Lethbridge of pendulum fame is in the Mass Observation, which had at its basis a, a, a kind of urge to be to measure the world through observation society through observation our relations through observation and yet behind that there are all sorts of kind of perhaps romantic motivations surrealist poets and you know filmmakers and Coldstream painter, you know, there, are, there is a, another impetus. And here we have T.C. Lethbridge, who writes these reports on the fear of invasion. But you have to even interpret it as the fear of invasion, because what he's actually outlining are observations of litter trails and ciphers, chalk ciphers, uh, painted ciphers. Mm. One of the uh, ciphers uh, that he points towards are a number of images of a possible face based on a circle and indeed not a possible face, because it clearly is a kind of reference to Adolf Hitler's face in cartoon mm. style. Uh, but what interested me was, uh, here is the practice of, of someone who later on uh, uh, becomes more and more outcast from the official mm. kind of uh, conventional uh, terms of archaeology. Uh, you know, isn't, is probably not entertained seriously uh, and, and resides in this kind of eccentric world of unofficial academia and yet is quite precise in the way in which mm. they attempt observation to, is incredible, to, yeah. to put forward their arguments. Mm. Yeah.